Welcome back once again. Let's start with the chapter number three, which is conics. And this is the part of MSAT achieve math test, a geometry section. So previously we discussed about chapter number one and two, that is plane geometry and solid geometry. If you have not gone through those, please find the link given in the description box below and you can watch them. And also do like, share and subscribe to my channel. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So let's start with the conics. The first question here says, which equation is represented by the following graph? It's basically a graph of a parabola and they're asking us which one is representing for this uh, given graph. So you should have a general idea about a parabola or graphing a quadratic equation by the way. Suppose if you have a general equation y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c, this is where we say a paraquadratic function and when you graph it, the graph can be drawn it in two ways. One, the graph can open it up. This is the graph will be opening up like uh, this and if the coefficient of x square is positive, that is if the a is greater than zero, what is a? The number with x square and the graph will be opening downward if the coefficient of x square is less than zero. So if the number with x square negative, then we say that graph will be opening downward. And another thing, what this C is representing this? C is representing Y intercept. Y intercept is the point where the line crosses the Y axis. Okay. So based on this idea, I'm able to predict which will be the graph. As we see, the graph which is shown is uh, opening downward, then definitely the coefficient, the number with x square should be negative. As we say that if negative, it will open down. So in that case, answer may be option A or option D. So cancel out, I mean uh, option C. Cancel out option B and cancel out option C because the number with them is positive. So in that case, uh, cancel out b and d so number is positive in that case answer may be either a or answer is c now which one we're gonna go with now where is what is the y intercept i say y intercept is the point where the graph crossing the y axis here you can see approximately graph is crossing the y axis here means it is crossing the y axis at negative one so which graph is option is showing you with the negative one value for c here you can see so that is option A is the right answer to this question. So I can't go with option C here because it is representing positive one. So positive one means graph would have crossed somewhere over here, which is not true. So A is the right answer. Let's work with question number two. It says a certain low watt radio station is able to be heard in a small part of the city. Write an equation for the boundary where the radio station can be heard and find its radius. Each grid represent one mile. So they are trying to say the length from here to here it is one mile and length from here to here. Each grid is representing one mile. So if you look at this, this is representing a circle. And to answer to this one, we need to refer to the formula which is provided to us that is equation of a circle because all the options what has given to us is in the form of equation of a circle. So how does the equation of a circle looks? Here you can see that this formula as it is will be provided to you in exam. So this is where we are talking about. It is a part of conics and I'm using this formula. Equation of a circle is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square where h comma k are the center and r will be the radius. So generally if I write equation of a circle that is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square and I said h comma k r center of the circle. Now from this given uh, the graph recognize what is the value of h and what is the value of k. h is basically the x value okay. So what is the value of x here that will be the h and what is the value of k here that will be the y okay. So in that case, how what is the value of h if you look at carefully 1, 2, h value is going to be 2 and the k value here it is negative 1. So k value here it is negative 1 and what is the radius? 
radius is the line which is drawn from the center of the circle to the any point on the circle you can take it in either way okay, from here to here how much is the how many grids it has passed one two three four so radius of here it's gonna be four units or four miles i can say if you substitute these as it is in the equation you're gonna get the answer so if you replace h with two k with negative one and r with four in this what is gonna be the equation x minus two square plus y minus is already there in the formula k value is minus one so minus one square equals to four square if you simplify it further x minus two square plus y minus of minus is gonna be plus one square equal to 16 so which one it is representing now that is uh, x minus two square plus uh, y, uh, you know, x minus 2 square plus y minus 4, uh, 1 square equal to 16. That is the equation and the radius here we got it as 4, which can also be said to be 4 miles according to them. So, which equation is representing x minus 2 square plus y plus 1 square equal to 16 and the radius is 4 matching with first choice. So, that is option A. You just need to recognize the center and substitute here because as we say h comma k are the center of the circle with that one substitute you'll get the first choice question number three here is again this is based on the equation of a circle you can see which of the following is the graph of x plus one square plus y minus three square is equals to nine so from this one you need to recognize what is the value of h what is the value of k so what is the general equation of the circle which we already saw previously that is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square so write it down write down at this at exactly that uh, below that so we can recognize the value of h and k x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square so from this one the value i mean uh, sorry i'm writing it as plus the uh, general equation is x minus h square okay plus y minus k square equal to r square here whatever the value of one we have written that is the value of h but here intentionally they have written it as positive means actually that is of the form x minus of minus one square and this will be the value of h okay so whenever we have this uh, like you know in the general equation all the sign is negative but a given equation has positive so then you have to take the sign of that variable that is h or k oppositely so if it is positive written you take the value of h as negative one if it is already given it as a negative take the value of k as same a positive value by the way so three and here r square is equals to nine when we say r square equal to nine to get rid of a square to take a square root on either side so that gives us the value of r as 3 so center is negative 1 and comma 3 and radius is what uh, 3 so which one is recognizing h value is negative 1 basically h is the x value okay x coordinate value where is negative 1 here and the value of y k value is same as the y so this is representing the x value this is representing the y value on the xy plane. k value is 3. Here it is negative 1. 1, 2, 3. So k value here it is 3. So this is the point where we are saying 1, comma, a negative 1, comma, 3. And you can see that the radius from here to here is going to be 3 units. The total length of r is 3 units that all matching with the option D. So here we go with the option D. Question number 4 says, the figure above shows the right triangle RSO. What are the coordinate of the midpoint of side RS? So they are asking you what is the coordinate of midpoint of the side RS? See what are the coordinate of here? So what are the coordinates? As you can see that whatever the value of X here, the same value of X here also because it is a straight line. So if X value here it is negative. So X value here also should be negative 6. Now, what will be the y value on the x-axis? The value of y on the x-axis is going to be 0. This will be the negative 6, 0. And here they have given the value of x as negative 6, value of y as 2. Now, how do we find the midpoint of it? Again, formula will be given to us. 
to find the midpoint we will be using x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this is the formula which will be given let me use it up so which one i assign as x1 y1 let me say this as x1 this coordinate as y1 you can choose any upper can be choose as x1 y1 and lower will be x2 y2 and here it's gonna be x2 y2 i'm saying so to find the value of x of the midpoint what i'm gonna go here x1 plus x2 by 2 comma to find the y we're gonna go it as y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so what is x1 value negative 6 what is x2 value also negative 6 divided by 2 that gives me negative 12 by 2 is negative 6 what is the value of y1 here y1 value here is uh, 0 and y2 value here it is going to be 2 0 plus 2 divided by 2 so y value is going to be 1 so i should go with negative uh, 6 comma 1 will be the coordinate which we are talking about based on the given so now which one we gonna say negative 6 comma 1 will be the right answer to it so we go with option e so apply the formula or else whenever they say midpoint what is the middle value of it you know that's you can choose it up or apply the formula and get it done this will be the last case question on the uh, conics that is based on the coordinate geometry again in the rectangle a b c d in the figure what is what are the coordinates of vertex c they are asking us what are the coordinate of vertex c at this point what is the value of x and y so here you can see that it is a straight line whatever the value of x here the same value for x here also so x should be 7 just by doing this idea i'll get rid of option a b c because they are not representing value of x as 7 answer may be d or e x is gonna be 7 y here is also gonna be 7 anyone will be the choice okay now what is the value of y coordinate here we can see y coordinate here they are writing it as m plus 3 so what is the value of y here y here is gonna be m plus 3 now what is the value of m by the way m value here you can find it from here as they have given us the coordinate x is 7 and y as 2 for the straight line which is parallel to x axis the value of y here also be 2 okay so that is y value here is also be 2 so x is 1 y is 2 so value of m here is gonna be 2 so we got it as m equals to 2 substitute here y value here it is gonna be m value is gonna be 2 plus 3 so y coordinate we get it as 5 so indirectly 7 comma 5 will be the coordinates of the vertex c because m value is 2 substitute that and get it done so 7 comma 5 matches with option a so these are the possible type of question what i got from the past sample papers that's it for today's lesson i'll see you in the next class so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon whenever i upload a new video so you will be notified all the best for the students who are taking exams and also please share to your friends so that they can also get benefited thank you so much see you in next class